Hello, my name is Sarah Julia Esterbeter Babenstein. I will be speaking about indigenous politics, spatialities, and relational ethics encoded into Austronesian languages and how we can understand these frameworks as pathways to justice. Each year, we see increasing ecological and social crises, political turmoil, and cultural imperialism. In 2020, I was working on Mauna Kea with the U.S. Forest Service surveying progression of climate crises and anthropogenic impacts to native forests. When the, when the COVID-19 pandemic spread, it ended our fieldwork, and I went to the Pacific Northwest to organize with anti-racist activists and build mutual aid, mutual aid networks. 2020 taught me that we need to change the way we relate to one another across social and ecological spaces, and I left the forest conservation work to study indigenous politics, epistemologies, and reconnect with my ancestors from the island of the whole in the Philippines. I do not have formal training in linguistics, but the intersections between justice and language have shaped my life perceptions. I believe the revitalizing indigenous and marginalized languages is a powerful pathway to reconnecting with ancestral ways of knowing, justice, and liberation. My grandfather was born in Andabo Hole in the Philippines. He spoke Bokolano, a sign language in the Austronesian language. He, he left the Philippines in the 1940s by joining the U.S. Navy and sailed across Oceania and living, lived briefly in Hawaii. Um, my grandmother was born in ja to Japanese immigrants in Nihonji Machi in San Francisco and grew up in Tohaz, Utah in Japanese internment camp. My grandparents both experienced racism and prejudice in the United States, because English was not their first language. So they've chosen not to teach their children their languages. And then it has taken generations for our family to reconnect with our languages and examine the political and social forces that has led to our cultures and language we I moved to Maui about 12 years ago and began to study Alola Hawaii. This inspired me to learn more about Bokulano and the languages of the Philippines. It was through studying Alola Hawaii and Filipino languages that I began to see the connections across our languages, cultures, and genealogies. This project seeks to trace these connections across oceanic languages and um, spatial temporalities. Centering ju justice in language projects interrupts colonial and imperial political and hegemonic systems. Austronesian spatial relational concepts point to traditional ways of knowing, relational ethics, and politics that directly oppose imperialism, capitalism, and oppressive systems at the root of environmental and social crises. This project looks to Austronesian languages and traditional vernacular practices as an archive in relational ethics that can direct us towards politics and practices of justice. Returning to traditional languages and vernacular practices allows for us to decolonize our minds and change the ways in which we relate and connect across the space. The Austronesian language family is one of the largest geograph geographically distributed in the world, extending from Madagascar to Rapanui and from Aotearoa to Hawaii. There are over 1,200 languages, um, languages in the Austronesian language family today, making up over one fifth of the world's languages. Our ancestors voyaged from Taiwan across Oceania, carrying their cultures, frontal histories, and relational ethics with them, encoded in their languages and passed down through the generations. The languages, cultures, and people descended from proto austronesian language speakers are included in this project in the term Moana Nui, a Hawaiian framework that recognizes the genealogical and cultural connections across the Austronesian world. This project focuses on proto austronesian word one and vernacular frameworks in the Philippines, Hawaii, and Samoa. The proto austronesian word one means wide open space. This is a central spatial and relational framework that informs auto-epistemologies of Moanani. This ancient framework is and contemporary cognate vernacular practices express time, space, and relational ethics. I look to Blunt and Trussell's Austronesian cognate sets to understand proto-Austronesian root words and the meaning attached to these 
ancestral root words that all contemporary Austronesian languages are descended from. Blunt and Trussell's table of one cognates seven cognate sets demonstrates an association to space, atmosphere, distance, or an open expanse of land or water. Other Austronesian words, root words related to one include the Proto-Philippines and the Proto-Western Malayo Polynesian cognate sets that further articulate conceptions of space and distance. In the cognate tables of the Proto-Oceanic and Proto-Malayo Polynesian forms of the root word, we began to see water, ocean, and voyaging meaning is being boat. These cognates include Samoan Vasa, meaning open sea or reef, oops, open sea or ocean, and Ava, channel or passage in the reef, and the Hawaiian Ava, meaning port or harbor or channel or passage in the reef. I wonder if Ava, the kava drink, has association with these cognates. The act of drinking kava connects people across space and time and builds community. This interpretation is not proven, but it resonates with the vernacular practices that this project focuses on. This project centers three Austronesian words descended from the Proto-Austronesian word one, Hapua in Tajalat, Ua in Olala Hawaii, and Ba in Sama. These words share ontoepistemological genealogies that have not been explored. These words articulate indigenous relationalities, spatialities, and ethics that inform political, social, and ecological relationships across space and time. In this discussion, I aim to reconcile these linguistic and epistemological connections across Moana and Nui, highlighting political movements centering on these concepts and demonstrate how enacting these concepts can test coloniality and promote justice. Activists, artists, and scholars have applied the spatial relational ethics of the Hua, Fa, and Kapwa as vernacular frameworks that interrupt hierarchical systems, address contemporary social and ecological crises, and amplifies relational ethics rooted in reciprocal relationships, mutual aid, and traditional ecological knowledge. Samoan scholar Albert Wendt described Hua as the space between, the betweenness, not empty space, not space that separates, but space that relates, that holds separate entities and things together in the unity that is all. Wendt argues that Hua is crucial in communal cultures that value group unity more than individualism, who perceive the individual person, creature, or thing in terms of group, in terms of Hua relationships. The Va framework offers lessons in traditional intimacies, relationality, spatiality, and justice. Samoan scholars engage with Va philosophies through the traditional saying, to live up. Wendt defines this as to cherish, nurse, or care for the Va, the relationships. This philosophy articulates how the spatial informs relational and ethical. Polynesian panther and scholar Milani Anai teaches that to live up is a spiritual experience. It is about relational bodies literally affecting one another in the Va and generating intensities between and across Va. Va framers call us to view all reciprocal relationships with others as sacred. In Hawaii, the word Va describes a period, era, or season, a space or interval as between objects or time or in music. Within the Hawaiian language, many words evoke Va, including Ba, Wakea, Akea, Wahi, Wahipana, Ava, Ba'a, and Vai. The epic chant of the Kumalipo is divided into 16 Ba, or eras um, of geological, evolutionary, and genealogical time and space. Wakea is the ancestral Akua of the sky, partner to Papa Hanau Moku, Earth Mother, and ancestors of the Hawaiian people and islands. Mauna Awakea is a sacred Hawaiian space. It is the tallest. It is the tallest mountain on earth, so standing at the summit is as close to Wakea as you can get without leaving Papa. Kanato Oevi scholars Kale, Nuuhiva, and Tai Tingen teach that Wakea is a potentiality within a space. Papa is the foundation that grounds us to the present so that the potential is realized. Nuuhiva and Tingen argue that Kanato Oevi engage in reconceptualized Ba through genealogical returns to Wakea. Wakea also stands in the space-time of the potential becoming. 
Wachia moves from a wa that is undefined to one that is expansive, Wachia. These ba vernacular practices convey the spatial temporalities and relational ethics encoded into Olelo Hawaii and the Aina. During the martial law era in the Philippines, a time of extreme state violence, cruelty, and control, Filipino psychologist Virgil Enriquez theorized that Kapwa is essential to Filipino psychology. Kapwa's philosophy is rooted in the understanding of the shared self, the unity of the one of us and the other. This sense of common human identity, the entangled humanity and shared inner self is central to Kapwa psychology and opposes the institutionalized selfishness proposed by um, Stalin de Gula. Copper culture nurtures a space of woven connections across human and more than human beings that informs our interpersonal relationships. De Gula argues that the scope between copper orientation reaches deeper. It anchors the mind of the man in the memory of nature. When the concept is viewed with an animist framework, it transpires how far the roots of copper extend into ancestral memories, the shared self, turns into a shared life. Kapwa relational ethics are being cultivated to address ecological and social issues. Christine Menez is activating Kapwa to call attention to issues that disabled people face by calling for full personhood to be extended to racialized people and those with disabilities. Menez also argues that we must reattune ourselves to the entangled intimate relationships between humans and more than human entities. Samantha Stipp, um, artist in Filipino artist in San Francisco, painted this mural and writes, for me, Kapwa means fiercely caring for another person because you see yourself in them. The relational ethics and spatialities encoded into Austronesian languages oppose hier hierarchical system and decenter the human, pointing us towards politics of care. Across Moana Nui, Communities are returning to these ways of knowing and centering their art, activism, and justice work in Kapwa, Wa, and Va frameworks. Creating and engaging within space, centering Austronesian relational ethics does not allow for hierarchical systems and relationships. Instead, these relational ethics foster reciprocal relationships, intimacies, and sharing. Reviving traditional vernacular practices as a path towards justice in the environmental, health, legal, and political, economic, educational spaces. Wana Nui activists, artists, and scholars have applied these spatial relational ethics of Austronesian languages at Bernadette frameworks to interrupt hierarchical systems, address contemporary social and ecological crises, amplify relational ethics rooted in reciprocal relationships, mutual aid, and traditional knowledge. I will highlight three of these stories of relational ethics from Wana Nui. In Aotearoa, New Zealand, Leva, a grassroots organization, has formed centering Va vernacular practices and relational ethics to address coloniality and build systems of support and mutual aid. Leva's mission statement says, traditionally for Pacifica people, sacred relationships exist between the people, as well as between the people, the environment, ancestors, and heavens. To nurture the Va is to respect and maintain the sacred space, harmony, and balance within relationships. Leva cultivates Va culture and frameworks to heal relationships across the community by nourishing the space that relates. This organization provides mental health, disability, addiction, public health, um, suicide prevention, violence prevention, and general well being services. The COVID 19 pandemic hit the Philippines during Rodrigo Duterte's presidency. Duterte and the state government did nothing to help the people during lockdown who were hungry. In April of 2021, a young 26 year old girl began, a woman began giving away food from a bamboo cart saying that take what you need and give what you can. Word spread and communities around the country began to organize community pantries to feed one another. With each bundle of goods handed up, the connections between the community and the people were revitalized and new collective identities forged. Communities in the Philippines set up food pantries to address um, in food insecurities during COVID-19 as a spirituality of alai kapwa, offering kapwa, 
were in the contest of Filipino pantries, the organizers and those giving goods reconnected across space and built reciprocal relationships. The mutual aid systems organized in the culture of Kapwa have demonstrated the inability of the government compared to the power of the communities organizing to care for one another. In, and in Hawaii, Wa spatial relational edits were applied were applied in viewing Mauna Awakea and the Akua entities and elements as, as members of society. The Kiai protectors of Mauna Awakea practiced mutual aid by setting up their own spiritual center, food distribution, health clinic, store, and even university, all free, built for and by the community and available to all who entered the sacred space of Mauna Awakea and stood with Kiai. Mauna Awakea on Hawaii Island is a site of where Kiai have successfully blocked the construction of the internationally funded TMT telescope for multiple years and have created a global trans indigenous and decolonial movement. Strollers Nuu Hiben Tinian argue that the impact is so extraordinary that the current expansion of Hawaii consciousness and political resulting from the standard Mana Awakea replicates older models of being in the Va, that sees the future as our past placed in front. Kawama Mua, Kawama Hope. Wakea provides the space for possibility and action that spans space and time, changing the course of a movement or regime. Engaging with Wa in Hawaii interrupts hierarchical power structures and promotes politics of care. The use of law as a framework to inform the spatiality and relationality of Mauna Awakea within Hawaiian cosmology and onto epistemologies illustrate how recentering their reciprocal relationships and nurturing space can lead to recovery, resilience, and liberation. These vernacular practices illustrated illustrate the spatial and relational knowledge that allowed our ancestors to thrive in island communities and nurture relationships across Moanani. Recentering reciprocal relational ethics pulls us to honor the personhood and those we see as other and nurture the space that relates us all. Um, these concepts and ways of being center our action and justice and calls for us to nurture the space that connects. I want to end this talk by highlighting one of the artworks featured in this presentation by Samoa artist Regina Meredith Hitia, who explores power and control as well as the fragility and strength of human relationships in her powerful series, Ba Fialoi Moana, Relational Space, Domestic Violence and Healing. In the work, Ba Fialoi, Hitia explores relational space between humans and the complex dynamic that happen when we dare to reach out. The space between is a visual representation of the va or sacred space between that connects individuals, families, ancestors, and communities. She includes protective imagery to symbolize the potential for one to hurt others as also notes the power for healing. Through engaging with this painting, I envision language as the proto austronesian words wan and swan and their linguistic descendants describe as a space or channel between islands or a pathway to connect to the ways of knowing of our kapuna in our past and across time and space with their living descendants. Revitalization of indigenous languages allows us to reconnect with ontologies and epistemologies that decenter the human and denature and, <laughs> and decolonial, nurture decolonial spaces that help us to connect and relate across time and space. When we re return to our vernacular practices and cultivate space relationships and politics that resonate with indigenous relational ethics, we deconstruct hierarchies and create spaces and futures that cultivate justice. Mahalo piha.